Welcome East Asia Super League fans. I'm your host, Boom Gonzalez, and you're watching EASL Full Court Press, your number one source for pro basketball news in the region. And here are the top headlines this week. In China, the Chinese Basketball Association was able to finish their season during the pandemic after a successful restart in mid-June. It's amazing news, actually. Highly favored Guangdong Southern Tigers defended their title against Liaoning Flying Leopards. 2-1 in the Best of Three Championship Series. Now, in case you forgot or don't know, Liaoning won last year's EASL Terrific 12 Tournament, beating Seoul SK Knights of the KBL. The Southern Tigers won a CBA record 31 straight games, which actually began prior to the league shutdown and then continued on to when play resumed in the bubble. American basketball player Sonny Weems has been a dominant force since joining Guangdong and was named this year's CBA Finals MVP. And our very own Zoe Zhao recently caught up with a two-time champ for some afternoon tea time. Let's take a quick look. That's the one that, uh, was that the one that Lance played in? Yes, Lance oh, yeah. played. They, they uh, won championship, right? Yes, they're mm. the champion. You, now you beat the but they didn't. But they didn't win CBA championship. Yes, yeah. now you're the, you're the best. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you beat the East Asia Super League champion. We did. Yeah. Beat the hell out of them. Yes. If we would have had seven games, we would have beat them four games to one. But they only gave us three Sweet. games. Yeah. If it was a game, if it was a seven-game series, it wouldn't even be close. We'd be the four, four one. Now you can catch the full feature and the full interview on Sunny Weems on the EASL YouTube channel. So please go ahead and check it out. In the meantime, the back-to-back -back champions have now won. 10 championships and look to three-peat. But with new CBA rules next season, the road could be much, much tougher. Next season, the CBA will be implementing a new salary cap for domestic players and new rules for foreign import players. Major player movement in CBA's offseason as teams tried to get under the new salary cap, which is set at 44 million renminbi which is approximately, I think, 6.45 million U.S. dollars per ball club. The Beijing Ducks, in the meantime, made some serious splashes this offseason, signing two of the biggest centers around in Li Muhao from Shenzhen and Fan Ziming from Xinjiang. Both guys are over 7 feet tall. And you know what? Guess who's been making moves? The Shanghai Sharks. Kirandek Makan has signed a three-year deal with Shanghai, ending a spectacular 11-year tenure with Xinjiang Flying Tigers. The Sharks have also re-signed former foreign import MVP Jimmer Fredette. Remember him? Now, Fredette spent last season in Greece averaging 12.9 points and a shade under two assists last year. Each team will be allowed four foreign imports on their roster. However, only two can play per game. Now over in Chinese Taipei, the Super Basketball League or SBL has started preseason games and they're on schedule to move forward with their regular season in the coming month. It's spectacular news actually. The SBL has some new competition in town from the newly established P-League. The P-League was established this year by former Formosa Dreamers co-owner Blackie Chen. The league looks to elevate the level of local competition and will start this year with four teams in the league. The P-League regular season will see each team play a total of 24 games. Now, each team plays the other three opponents eight times. The league also features the newly established franchise, the Sinshu Lioneers. The Lioneers have a tough road ahead, but made a splash when they signed one of the top college prospects, Oscar Kao who recently played NCAA Division I basketball at Southeastern Missouri. Now, we recently caught up with Doug Creighton to ask him his thoughts on the upcoming league. So what are, what are your main thoughts on, on Pee Week and this new league starting out? I think it's going to be good for Taiwan basketball. I just They're actually going to have a pro league and fans will have their own home team, which I think is going to always be 
fun for teams, and the marketing is always always going to be great, especially with Blackie running the league. He's always good about getting fans to come to the games. And Moving over to Japan now, B-League preseason is underway as teams have resumed training activities with new COVID preventive measures. The new B-League season is set to begin in October. Yudai Baba, 2019 B-League Finals MVP, has now signed with Melbourne United of the National Basketball League next season and has already arrived in Melbourne and is currently undergoing quarantine. Ababa spent last season with the G League affiliate of the Dallas Mavericks, the Texas Legends. In the Philippines, 30 Ravenna will take his crazy athleticism and his pink hair, or whatever hair color he decides to sport, when he goes to the B League in Japan after signing with Sun and Neo Phoenix earlier this summer. Now, I, and I'm sure a lot of other people watching, have been really taking a close look and have been seeing the Ateneo standout adding to his tool bag in the offseason. And he should, as he will likely play more guard at the pro level compared to his college days. You know, I really cannot wait to see what he's got. More news from the Philippines. The Philippine Basketball Association teams resumed training activities last month as the PBA prepares to restart its 45th season. The PBA Board of Governors are discussing possible venues to replicate a bubble similar to the NBA model in Orlando. A possible sites include the Clark Freeport. PBA teams await approval from the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases, or the IATF, to start scrimmages as early as next week and get players up to game speed before entering that said bubble. More news now, Manila's uh, Games and Amusements Board, or GAB, voices very strong support for EASL Games. EASL is proud to receive their backing and strong support for the country's hosting of EASL's Regional Championship Group Stage Games, which is launching in October 2021. Former Rookie of the Year and PBA MVP Kelly Williams in the meantime announced his retirement on social media after seven years in the league. Williams is a six-time PBA champion and a former member of the Philippine national team and one of my personal favorite dunkers in the league. Not to mention, Kelly has overcome so many challenges in his storied basketball career. Moving over to South Korea now, the Korean Basketball League, or KBL, continues to prepare for the upcoming season. The league announced the KBL Cup will be held September 20-27 to in Gunsan, South Korea, and will include all KBL teams. The KBL Cup games will be played without fans. KBL had hoped to include B-League teams, but plans were cancelled due to current travel restrictions. Wonju DB signed Tyreek Jones to replace Chinanu Onwaku after he failed to report to the team. All other KBL imports in the meantime have joined their respective basketball teams. And lastly, Dong Otsuka is now the official beverage sponsor for the KBL. You may already know one of their most famous products, Pokari Sweat. Thanks for watching everyone and be sure to join us next time for more EASL Full Court Press. I'm your host, Um Gonzalez. For more news and fresh content, follow East Asia Super League on our social media accounts. We'll see you next time.